In one of those chores we all despise, doing the laundry. But if you have a full house, you also know it can get pretty expensive. So this week, our queen of free, Sherry Lowe, is here with some ideas on how to do laundry with less hassle and with less spending. Who likes doing laundry, really? Not me. Me Not neither. Not me at all, but it doesn't mean we have to overspend. So we have some simple hacks today to help save you more money when you do the laundry. All right, let's kick off with the load size. That yeah, can make a difference. Definitely, and not just in how much you're placing inside of the washing machine, but just in how many clothes you own mm -hmm. in general. So part of the vicious cycle is that we have too many things usually. <laughs> Very true. You don't necessarily have to touch it and see if it brings you joy, but as you are doing the laundry, take two to three items out of every load to have less to do. I love that idea. Um, or just don't buy as many clothes, I guess, is what you're saying, right? But that's, yeah. that's not as fun. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> Sherry always brings, when she, when she brings this white vinegar, I know there's some secret magical brew that you've got. It's certainly. So white vinegar is a fantastic um, replacement for fabric softener. Hmm. Instead of buying pricey fabric softener, the best place that I've found to purchase it at the cheapest price is actually Sam's Club. Hmm. But you might find a different spot out there in your regular shopping just to pick it up. Typically, you can put it inside of a downy ball, one of those little mm -hmm. fabric softener releases. It works the same way. Everything stays clean, non-staticky, um, and soft. You won't smell like Easter eggs <laughs> or a salad dressing. It works really well. And then I have a recipe out on queenoffree.net today, too, for our homemade laundry detergent that I use on a regular basis. It involves one cup of borax, one cup of washing soda, okay. which is slightly different than um, baking soda. Looks like the same box, but yes, it's something else. Similar, same brand, but it's okay. a different product. And then a half cup of OxyClean, hmm. and you only use a tablespoon of that mixture per load. That's it does it. not take very much at all and it does a great job. We've used it for years. You can use it in HE machines as well. Okay, good to know. Uh, one of the more expensive purchases when it comes to laundry, of course, is the machines. If you need to get new ones, you've got some advice for that. Yes, you know, I'm a big fan of buying used. We have both a used washer and mm -hmm. a used dryer that we purchased at a scratch and dent store. Uh, personally, we love a, a store down in Franklin, Indiana that we go to, mm -hmm. but there are several all around the city. You can get a great deal and spend a whole lot less money. Okay, let's talk about uh, the temperature of the water you use because that can make a difference on how much you spend too. Certainly, because you have to use your heater to heat up mm -hmm. that water, your water heater, using cold water will save you more money. There are still loads that I prefer to wash in hot because that one episode of Dr. Oz that <laughs> I watched, you know, so towels and underwear and that kind right. of stuff, you want to still stick with hot. But when you can, wash full loads with cold water. And something that I do anyways because some of my clothes just do better when they're hanging to dry, but that can save money too in the long run. Sure, the less you run your dryer, the less your electric bill is or your mm -hmm. gas bill if it's a gas dryer. So when you can hang items or lay them flat to dry, yes. you can invest in a nice little drying rack pretty affordably. <laughs> yeah, or I even hang things from the curtain rod in my mm -hmm. house. So if you don't want to spend the money on that, you can certainly do that as well. It will let those clothes last longer. They'll keep their shape better. Yes. They're colors better and you'll also save money on that electric bill. The shower curtain is a place where I often have clothes <laughs> hanging. All right, Sherry Lowe, thank you so much. No one likes doing laundry, but if you can save money, hey, something to smile about on a Sunday. <laughs> you can always find all of her tips if you missed any of this on her blog, which we link to our website at WTHR.com. Sherry, thank, thank you. Thank you.